Hello everyone and welcome to the official SWGT YouTube channel. My name is Sarusa. Today we're going to take a look at SWGT update 5.4.8, which includes some enhanced rune and artifact graphs, a completely rewritten hamburger menu system, some updates to the homepage, and more. Here we are on the homepage and you'll notice that the YouTube video and the, and the platform update blocks are now more highlighted. This is a recent change. I've been having some people saying, hey, I didn't know that you had videos or you didn't have update notes, so just added a little bit more accent to make things a little bit more clear. The next update takes us over to the rune and artifact graphs. So under runes, if I were to say toggle off the max legend uh, in the version before this one, if I added a historical graph, let's say I pick, uh, I don't know, let's say the beginning of January um, and press apply, the the line for legend would come back. Uh, now the charts are now remembering your selections, uh, which is both good and bad. Obviously, if you untoggle something uh, and then you make a filter, obviously, you know, it's not going to show unless you toggle it back on. But it has been a, a complaint by a lot of people. It's more prominent on guild sites because there are, of course, more lines with, you know, averages and um, and standard deviations and so forth. So, so that's just a nice quality of life update there. And the last update line takes us over to the hamburger menu. The hamburger menu has been a uh, controversial item for quite a while for a lot of people. Um, some people like it, some people, some people hate it, but you know, in the end, the you know we have to have a menu of all the features somewhere, right? And so the hamburger menu I've been struggling with, um, not only because a lot of the hamburger menu's code was pretty legacy and not very well optimized, mostly because of how the platform has grown. You know, all my focus has always been on functionality and not on the menu system. So uh, I, I decided to give a little bit of love. The updated menu system now actually is responsive. So as you actually, uh, if we were to say scale it to a mobile site, you'll see that the menus are, re are rearranging themselves. And so as you actually expand the menu system, you'll see that it's actually going through and rearranging itself to make it fit into the space of the window. Uh, so that's the first update there. Uh, this menu system is, ac is actually searchable now too. So if I search for Siege, it'll actually go through and just find all, all the menu items for Siege. Or if I say World Guild Battle, or if I say 3MDC, or Stats, right? So just a nice uh, big quality of, of update for the menu. Uh, it should help people find their menu options a lot easier. Just a casual reminder that you can actually click on the pins here and clicking on the pins will add them up to the top menu here. So if you have a few menus that you are using very frequently and you don't wanna have to go to the hamburger menu and, and you just want it up here on top, that is the way that you do it there. And that's it for today. I just wanted to say thank you to all the Patreon members who subscribe to SWGT and to all the people that constantly give feedback about the platform. Uh, you know, it, it's only through your support and efforts that SWGT is what it is today. And I've said it before and I'll say it again. We all make SWGT better together. And with that, don't forget to smash those like buttons and I'll see all of you on the battlefield.